Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video, I am going to show you how to build a random search CV. In a different video, I showed you how to create a grade search CV and in a different video, I show you the difference between grade search CV and random search CV. So those are two different videos you'll find on my channel. If you want to find out the difference between grid search CV and random search CV, I have a video on that. If you want to learn how to do grid search CV, I also have a video on that. But this video will be focused on random search CV. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, let's go ahead and import random search CV. So from sklearn dot model selection import random search cv and also in this video we did great search cv versus random search cv i also discuss when to use random search and when to use great search and the reason why we even do great search or random search in the first place so all of that can be found in this video just go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you get notified when this video drops and then we also need to import the model that we are going to be using for our searching. So from sklearn.assemble, import random forest classifier. So this is a classification problem. You can do this with a regression problem too. So instead of importing random forest classifier, you import random forest regressor, for example. So this applies to regressor and classifier. And the video I made about great search CV used a regressor model and the technique also applies to a classification model. So let's go ahead and instantiate our random forest model. And we are just gonna um, use the default parameters. The next step is to define the parameters for our randomized search CV to search within. All right, so you can put in as many parameters here as possible, but um, I'm just gonna pick a few. And real quickly, the way random search CV works is that you give it a list of parameters and then it will give you it to search for the best estimator within um, those parameters. And again, um, that I explain in random search versus great search CV. So make sure you go ahead and watch that video. So I'm just call it params is equal to, and we are going to create a dictionary. And we are gonna do mass features. And we are gonna do two, four, six, eight. This is just for an example. And let's um, pick max depth. And let's pick something like five, 10, 15, 20, 25. And let's pick next number of estimators. And let's do um, 50. So now you might be asking yourself, how do I know um, which parameters to put in here? Well, let me just show you the documentation real quick. So this is the documentation for random search CV. All right. And then um, this is the parameters. And this is the attribute and um, these are the different method available in the random search CV. Now, if you go to the documentation for random forest classifier, which is the model that I'm using, okay, you will see that these are the parameters available. Okay, so the, you have number of estimators, that's one of the parameters. You have maximum depth, you have minimum samples, you have a minimum weight, you have maximum features. You know, you have all these parameters. Now, if you go back here, as you can see, maximum features, maximum depth, ma number of estimators are the parameters available to random search, I mean, random forest classifier, okay? So, basically, what you are doing right here is like you are providing a list of parameters uh, for this random search function to test in order to find the best combination of parameters. The parameters that you enter here is going to be dependent on what model you are using. I'm using a random forest classifier model. 
okay and the parameters that are listed like number of estimators maximum depth maximum features are the parameters available with random forest classifier so if you're working with a random forest regressor or if you're working with a logistic regression model whatever model you're working with make sure that the parameters that you list here are the parameters that are available with the model you're working with and a random search um, cv here in the documentation it shows you that in a grid search cv all parameters are tried out so all the parameters that you provide here are tried out in a grid search cv but in a random search cv a sample from these specifications will be tried out so instead of all these numbers being tried out just a sample from each one of these specifications will be tried out in our random search cv so that's one of the key differences between random search cv and grid search cv and of course i go into detail about that on this video on grid search versus random search cv so we've defined our parameters and you also know where these parameters are coming from they're coming from the model of choice let's go ahead and instantiate our grid so our random search cv model so let's just call it search is equal to random search estimator is going to be equal to our gs model and then um, it's going to ask us for param distributions and we are going to set that to params and then it's going to and i'm going to set the end jobs equal to one end jobs equal to um, negative one just means how how many processors you want to use negative one means to use all my processors and um, if you put negative two it's gonna use all your processors except one so if you have its processors it will be using seven that's if you put um, negative two here but if you put negative one if you have eight processors it's gonna use all eight processors in the search and um there's other parameters you can enter but the only two required ones are the estimator and the param distribution so the estimator is like the model like what model are you going to be using for this random search cv and then parameter distribution is like what parameters from this model do you want to search so now that we have instantiated our random search model let's go ahead and use it to fit our training data and our test data so we just do um search model equal to search dot fit and like i showed you earlier the random search cv has a fit method a predict method and a scoring method all right this is similar to the fit predict and score method in the random forest regressor model it's, you can also do it from here and also um it gives you the score the, the score that it gives you is dependent on the model you are using so if, if you're using a random search classifier model like this one it will give you an accuracy score but if you're using a random forest regressor it will give you the r2 score you know so the score is dependent on the model you're using so if you see me doing dot fit dot predict you know dot this is coming from the method available with this model so we want to fit our x train and then we want to fit our y train all right and this takes some time to run so we just wait patiently so our model is done training now we are going to explore the best parameters right so if you go to this random search classifier documentation you see that you have um, a couple of attributes that you have access to 
attributes are basically things you have access to after training your model. You know, you can get, you can get more information from your model after training it um, by calling this attribute. So we are going to like look at some of these attributes. One of, one of the best ones I like to look at is best parameters. But you can look at other attributes if they interest you and the work you are doing. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can do um, search model dot best dot best estimator. Sure. We can do um, the best estimator is random first classifier, which makes sense because we only had one estimator. <laughs> okay. It's time to stop playing. And even when we do this, we can see that the maximum depth is what we specify. The maximum features is here. Let's go ahead and uh, do some other distance. I like to look at best parameters. And what it gives you here is a dictionary, right? So for every parameter that you specify, it gives you like the best one. So it's telling us that the best estimate, uh, number of estimators, you know, is 600. The best um, maximum features is two, and the best maximum depth is 25. So best estimators kind of gives you all this information. And of course, you could um, store this information in like a, a variable. Let's just call it k equal to that. And then we can do something like k, because it's a dictionary, so we can call it as a dictionary. We can do max depth. And it should, this should give us m25. So it gives us 25 here, you know, so you could store this in a dictionary and then um, you could um, treat it as a dictionary. If you, could, you could store it in a variable and treat it like a dictionary if you wanted to. Let's look at some other distance that I might be interested in. Let's look at the best score. And the best score is basically um, the best accuracy score. In this case, the best accuracy score is 67%. So this best score is the accuracy score. And I wanted to look at CV results. And it gives you a whole lot of information. And then um, it gives you the mean fit time, the mean score time, and all this information. If this information is important to you, you can get access to it. And then it shows you um, the different um, CV combinations that it did. And then it shows you um, the different... Um, score for the different um, splits that it did so this is interesting stuff if, if, if you're interested in um, looking at this information but now that we are done fitting our model well, and we can also use our model to um, do a prediction right so we can do widespread search let's just call it search it's equal to search model dot predict and we want um, to predict using our s test and um, now that we've gotten a prediction we can get the accuracy score from this random search cv model and um, there's a couple of ways to get the score you can get the score by using the built-in scoring method like i showed you earlier or you can get the score by using the accuracy metric from scikit learn so i'm going to show you how to do both of them both of them will give you the exact same results you know so you can do something um like dot score and then here you input your s test and then you put, put in your y test and as you can see it gives you m um, 67 percent and then an Another way to get an accuracy score is using scikit-learn accuracy score metric. So you can do from sklearn.metric, import accuracy score. And then you do accuracy score and parentheses. You put in your true value. In this case, your true value is your white test and your predicted value is your white bread search. All right. So when you're using this method, when you're using this method, you put in your true value, which is your S test, which is a Y test, and your predicted values, which is this right here from your model.predict. All right. When you're using this method, you just put in your S test and your Y test, and it will do the prediction step and give you a score. And this score right here is the accuracy score. 
and I know this is accuracy score because um, the model that we used is a random forest classifier model. And random forest classifiers um, you know, has accuracy scores. And if you're working with a classification problem, you use a classification metric like accuracy score. If this was random forest uh, regressor, I will use a regression metric like mean absolute error or mean squared error or the coefficient of determination, like which is the R2 score, you know, stuff like that. So the scoring method you use is dependent on the model you are using here. In a nutshell, that is how you would um, do a random search CV. And then of course, I showed you how to get your best um, parameters. So these are the best um, parameters from this list of parameters that are listed here. And of course, you can keep doing this. You can experiment with many different parameters. You can run your model again um, using these parameters. And this is actually good because let me show you something. So this is actually an improvement. When I just did a random forest classification model, I got a um, 66% accuracy score. But using the parameters that are listed, using these best parameters, I was able to get an accuracy score of 67%. You know, as time goes by, it's like, let's say if I keep experimenting with different parameters and keep hyperparameter tuning this, I could really, really improve my score. 1% increase may not seem like much, but it's a good start. Overall, that is how you build a random search CV model and how you um, kind of work with it. I hope you like this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you made it this far in this video, but you didn't like it, give it a double thumbs down and still subscribe to the channel. You can get the notebook for this video at machinelearningeducation.com. This is my platform where I put all my notebooks. And once you are here at machinelearningeducation.com, you can click on free data science resources. And then uh, from here, you can get access to my data science tutorial Python notebooks. I create a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of blog posts and I end up with a lot of notebooks and I just find it easier to create one platform where I put all my resources and all my notebooks. So from now and in the future and in times going forward, any notebooks that I use in my tutorials is going to be found right here. You can also visit me at evidencen.com. This is my primary website where I have my data science blog post. And as time goes by, I'm going to create more and more data science blog posts. So that's evidencen.com. And if you are here, you can also click on this to get my free data science resources page. Or you can go to machinelearningeducation.com slash free. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.